Hello, my name is Jonathan with SSA Architecture, Small Studio Associates, licensed architects in Las Vegas, Nevada and the surrounding area including California and Arizona. Whenever designing a tenant improvement or a new building, we need to provide ceiling design detail. These details go hand in hand with the reflected ceiling plan. Together, these drawings show the ceiling material, soffit location, method of construction and lighting fixture information. There are different types of methods for constructing a ceiling and in this video, we will focus on suspended ceiling construction. So what is a suspended ceiling? A suspended ceiling is hung from the structure of the roof or floor above. There are different ways of installing the suspended ceiling materials, but each way requires some metal wires or hanger rods to act as tension supports for the ceiling assembly. So why use a suspended ceiling? Suspended ceilings have a space between the ceiling assembly and the roof structure or floor structure above that is called the plenum. This plenum creates acoustical advantages as the large airspace mitigates sound transmission between floor levels. Many finished materials can be attached to suspended ceilings such as lath and plaster, aesthetic battens, and aluminum. But, there are two most commonly used finished materials for suspended ceilings, gypsum wallboards. And acoustic ceiling tiles. Gypsum wallboards can be installed on a suspended ceiling system. This is usually achieved by suspending light gauge, steel C-channels, typically one and one half inch, on wires or rods. Hat channels are then fastened to these C-channels. The hat channels, sometimes called furring channels, are typically one one half inch or seven eighths of an inch. Then the gypsum wall boards can be screwed to the hat channels. After that, the wall boards just need to be textured and painted for a finished product. Acoustic ceiling tiles, or ACTs, are also suspended with wires from the structure of the roof or floor above. The main difference in how ACTs are suspended is that there is no C-frame and hat channel system to screw these tiles to. Instead, these tiles are laid in place on a grid that is constructed from continuous main runners and intermediate cross T's that clip into the main runners. This ceiling construction method provides very easy access to the surfaces above the ceiling. If there is a plumbing leak overhead, a plumber can easily pop up the tile and service the leaky pipe. Overall, for commercial buildings, acoustic ceiling tiles on a ceiling grid are the most economical ceiling construction method. Acoustic ceiling tiles are often the preferred ceiling construction because they are made from fibrous materials that are formed into tiles and these materials are much more absorptive to sound. This can be especially useful in quiet rooms such as classrooms, offices, or libraries. A major drawback to gypsum board ceilings are that they are highly acoustically reflective and have less accessibility to the ceiling plenum. Sound absorption is measured in noise reduction coefficient, or NRC. The higher the NRC value, the better absorption qualities are in the material. An NRC of 0 indicates perfect reflection and an NRC of 1 indicates perfect absorption. Another method of measuring the sound reduction qualities of acoustic ceiling tiles is its ceiling attenuation class, or CAC. This is a measurement of the ceiling tile's ability to block sound traveling through a plenum when the wall does not extend to the roof deck. The higher the CAC value, the better sound insulation values between rooms. CAC values for acoustic ceiling tiles are usually between 20 and 35. If you want less sound transmission between rooms traveling through the plenum, there are some things you can do to prevent this. You can choose ceiling tiles with higher CAC and NRC values. You can add sound attenuating bad insulation above the ceiling tiles, and you can also install walls between rooms to be from floor to roof deck. That completes our video on suspended ceilings. If you still have any questions, feel free to call us at 702-873-1718. Don't forget to like and subscribe. You can also visit our website for more information about us at smallstudioassociates.com or get some answers on our frequently asked questions page.